Hi everybody, it's Linda. And um, get this hair out of my way. Um, yesterday I did a rant, and if I offended anyone, I apologize for that. <clears throat> but um, I think some things need to be said, and I had to get it off my chest. And I love all the responses as negative and positive I got, even the personal emails, negative and positive. Um, I still love you guys regardless. It was my rant, my point of view. Uh, today I want to talk about something else. And it's it's called, I'm going to just give you the definitions. All right, when you're human, let me give you the full definition of human. Of relating to or characteristics of humans, consisting of humans, having human form or attributes, susceptible to or representative of the sympathies and frailties of human nature. And it says such as inconsistency, inconsistency is very human. Now, I also want to give you the definitions of human being, which is the most wonderful definition because there is a difference in human and human being. A member of the human race, we're all human beings regardless of our differences. I'm going to leave the two links for you guys. Now, I've always considered humans, people call, could talk about this, um, uh, the merging with machines, this transhuman humanistic thing that's happening. Well, it's already happened. It's been happening. Um, the programming, programming of the TV has already done that. And, and you know... And I'm not trying to put anyone down, but here's the difference. I, I've been around people who, I call them just humans, that have no empathy. They're apathetic towards everything. They've been so programmed. And then around human beings who realize we are all connected. And everything on this earth could be good if, if, if we weren't extracting every resource out of it and dividing and pitting people against one another. Um, to be a human being is to take away all the shackles that have been programmed from you, walk away and rethink things, um, learn from your ancestors. It's in your DNA. It's in your heart. Um, True Stone, you, you say a lot of wise things. I'm going to give you a shout out because you, you you put it in that aspect of learning from the past, learning from your ancestors, and looking from within. And all the answers are there. You don't need books or anything else to tell you how to act. Storming the temple. Language. Yes, the English language is the dumbest double-edged sword language there is. Um, and I think everyone needs to go see how you break down language and how it is used against us. Um, I'm going to leave those two links because they, they, they've done some marvelous uh, things with the breaking down of the language. Uh, Truth, Truth Stone talks about what you can find in your heart and storming the temple can break down the language for you. Just like government. <clears throat> to govern in Latin means to control. Mind, I think that's mentis. Um, it, or, or, or meant, excuse me, mentis in Latin, is the mind. So government means control the mind, mind control. State-sponsored TV, what are they hosting today? I believe they used to do this when I watched TV on Sundays, gladiator sports, football, stuff that you should be participating in instead of being inactive, watching it from your comfort of your own home. Um, go out and play a game of football instead of watching people who make millions of dollars and, you know, play it. That's not participating in in being human or human beings. Start participating in your own life. Start looking around and helping something, someone, any, anyone. Um, here's something, because people think I'm very anti-Christian, and I'm not. I was in Christian schools because I was an Indian. Love thy neighbor as, as you love yourself. Isn't that in the Bible? Wow, that should be the only verse anybody ever uses. Because if you did that, you would see that we're all connected. And you should love everyone, regardless of their race, what they believe, how they believe it. 
And there is no new world order. It's the same old, old world order that's been controlling, and they have controlled things since they found a way to do it. Before that, people lived in communities and ruled themselves. Now, how do you break away from the old world order? First, you have to become a human being and look within yourself. But that would mean you would have to break the regular human habits of being controlled and not believing in yourself and not believing in your own power. Kind of, people call me an anarchist for saying this. So be it, if that's what anarchists believe, good. Um, you would have to break away from every form of control there is and look within yourself and walk that walk and talk that talk. It's not easy, but if everybody did it, it would be much easier. There's a big difference between human and human beings. Humans are merging with the the machines, if they're sitting in front of a TV watching other people play sports instead of out there exercising and playing sports themselves, or watching your friends play sports if you're injured or something, you know, get, get with a group of your friends and if you can't do anything you can keep score. That's still participating and talking, but by sitting around watching, someone said, I think it was Stay Smart, the Cowboys and the Indians, wow, what a divide and conquer that is, play today. That right there should tell you this is all a program. Stop being human, become a human being. Join the rest of us human beings on the planet so we can unite and we can stop this old world order and their control mechanisms. And there's a lot of them. And we need to cut away at each one of them. I love you all. I hope I didn't offend anybody yesterday or today. But there is a big difference in being just a regular human and a human being. So yes, if you're a human and you rely on that TV, and I know some people have TVs in every room, that just amazes me. Some of these people have never picked up an instrument and even tried to play or done, wrote a poem like, like Truestone does. He writes, I write too, I just won't make mine public. Although Kenny says I should, um, but they'd be offensive or play musical instruments. Um, pray to the Creator, but do it personally. Don't go in big temples that are built by the old world order. Go out on this beautiful earth that was made for us. What a temple it is. We have a star that gives us the vitamin A and D, which most people in America and or the Western world are suffering from a vitamin D deficiency because they're programmed by the internet. I, I'll go with that. Cell phones, they're horrible. I can't stand cell phones. Battery must be out when you come in this house. Um, cell phones are a terrible distraction um, and the TV is the worst distraction and you're not getting your sunlight. These, these, all, these are all things that make you healthy. This is not healthy watching, being programmed. So I hope I didn't offend anybody. I love you all. I just wanted you to know the difference. Look within yourself. You can find all the answers. Look within yourself. And I'm going to leave the two links to Storm in the Temple and True Stone. And uh, I may leave another link too. Um, also to human and human beings, the two different definitions. And uh, I was thinking about something else, but I probably won't get into it right now. Love all of you guys. If I offended you, I didn't mean to. Um, I believe everyone has the right to believe what they want. However, if it's coming from state-sponsored television where these duck people made thousands of dollars, why would you even bother listening? Really, think that way. Let's grow up and be adults. Peace, love, truth, and I do love all of you. Have a good, I know it's a holiday season, so I have a very good holiday season. Um, I, like I said, I don't participate, but I do wish the rest of you love and spend time with your family. I'm out of here.